Welcome back to the channel everybody. You already know Looper Norris. I got another episode here talking about the most recent rap albums of 2024. I have a new episode here, but before I go over today's album, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some uh, new music, the new song Waldo that's dropping for December 4th. I have the artwork cover out and for December 4th, that's when the song is officially out everywhere on all platforms. Another song is dropping for December 14th, but I'll talk more about the name of the song once Waldo is out. Also, I'll talk more about the new album I'm currently working on. I'll give you guys like the name of the album, the concept. There's 10 tracks, all the other details about it. I'll let you guys know once I drop Waldo. Subscribe to the channel like comment today's episode we're gonna do the new album by Absol soul burger so this is a new album Absol released not too long ago this is a very new album so just like every other episode i'm gonna play four songs off of the album just a snippet of each track give you guys an idea of how this one sounds like then i'll start giving you guys my critique about the album from track one to the last one give you guys a rating afterwards out of 10 absol soul burger new album by Absol. I'm gonna play out four songs off of the album, just a snippet of each. The first song I'll play, this one is called Nine Mile. Have mercy on a junkie, biggest lie I ever told is that it ain't about the money. This one's called Crazier, featuring J.I.D. The nasally Nas, but I'm more Jazier. Awkwardly walking back on tracks like Ron Shazier. Science is great, but God greater, more wavier. This one's Saudi Sweets. Let's know I'm just the vessel. And I just put my sugar mama in the pretzel. Yeah. The last track I'll play, this one's called Righteous Man. Cause nobody likes to know it all, and I'm a know it all. If they know me, y'all. Righteous Man from the gang, homie. Absol, Soul Burger, new album by Absol from California, famously known for the crew Black Hippie, working with Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, and J Rock, many others under the TDE label. So another fact about him, he can't see, like he's, uh, I think he's legally blind. There's some type of like eye condition that he has that makes it tough for him to see. So I think like he is legally blind and he actually needs assistance to like move around. You can't actually see anything. I always thought Absol and Kendrick Lamar were the most lyrical artists on Black Hippie, or you can even say TDE. Kendrick Lamar is the best overall rapper out of the crew. Absol, I always looked at him as like the second most lyrical rapper in the group. Schoolboy Q has the best style, I think, out of everybody in terms of like style, just being different, being unique. He definitely has that over everybody in that crew. And J-Rock is like the older pioneer, big brother of the crew. I'm pretty sure he's the oldest one out of everybody. So yeah, that's the way I look at it in terms of like, who's the best out of the group? Kendrick Lamar and Absol, definitely the most lyrical. With this album here, man, it's a good album. One of the better albums I've heard from Absol. I can tell that he put a lot of time and effort into putting the album together. It, it sounds like something that took him a long time to make. It sounds very professional. The post-production, the mixing, the mastering, everything sounds very professional, very clean. Sounds like he spent a lot of money and worked with a lot of engineers to put this one together. Even the quality of like the production and like the vocals, just everything sounds very clean and very on point. There's no like mistakes that stand out when you're listening to every record on this one. Everything sounds very like professional and high level. You know what I'm saying? Like they really took their time and paid attention to detail in terms of the post-production and mastering the album altogether. So that's one thing I really liked about the album. The features is another thing that stood out for me for this album. I think the features he picked the perfect features for the album very strong artists and lyricists on this one and they all did a really good job everything Absol wanted out of the features on this one they brought to the table and they executed at a high level there isn't a feature on the album that sounds out of place in terms of keeping the consistency high throughout the album for the most part I thought the album was really good but there is a lot of things that I didn't like about the album at the same time there is in a lot of fresh ideas 
going through the album some of the production is pretty experimental there are beats that you've never heard before in terms of the style he's got a lot of unique fresh beats going on on this album but most of the beats on here are beats that you've heard before in terms of like the style Absol, he doesn't really try anything different from what he's used to doing which isn't so bad because Absol is a great lyricist and he really knows how to rap he really knows how to like wordplay put bars together his original style is strong enough where he doesn't need to switch it up in order to like make the album sound better like his original style is strong enough to carry the album throughout where it won't make people think like oh it's just like oh Absol just like rapping like he usually does like his style is strong enough to carry the album but um it just makes the album like slightly boring in a sense you're just like given the same style that you're used to hearing from Absol and it's like every track and the only thing that's unique and different from the album is some of the beats I'll say like maybe five out of the 15 tracks the beat is something that you've never heard before fresh and new in terms of like the idea but like not every track is like I'd say maybe five out of the 15 beats and every other beat is just what you sort of expect from Absol I mean it's all right because the production and everything about the album is recorded and put together at a very high level I'd prefer to hear fresh ideas especially out of an artist like Absol who's usually just using his signature style on most tracks so I was expecting to hear what he usually does and I was hoping to hear something different to change my like idea and how I look at the album but you're getting just a typical black hippie Absol high lyrical skills but like it's like the same thing so it makes it just a little bit boring and I feel like he's a little too serious on this album too and the seriousness makes it a little bit boring it really shows the age of Absol I'm pretty sure he's closer to like his 40s if any Anything, he's a little bit older than that you can really hear the old age through the music they're using a lot of old techniques in the songs here and I think it makes the album altogether sound just a little bit older they're not trying new sounds and new ideas enough for the whole album to sound a little bit more futuristic one of the things that I didn't really like about the album the production's good but it's not great and there's some beats that have like a very distinctive sound to it that that makes the album a little bit better because now you're getting beats that are giving you a fresh experience as a listener there's not too many of those beats but here and there you'll get beats where you're like this is something different making a beat different sounded isn't always the best thing and it doesn't always make the beat better because like you'll have uh, beats that are generic and then you have beats that are experimental and then like you'll have beats that are sort of in, in the middle it's like a mix of generic and experimental there is a handful of experimental beats on here the producer is trying to give Absol something different but making the beat different isn't always the best the beats that are different on this album it's like the fact that they're different sounding and they're fresh sounding in terms of like the uniqueness of it makes them slightly better but at the same time doesn't make the album better as a whole the production I think is a little closer to average in terms of the level of uh, skill I think the beats could have been a little bit better on this one in terms of like the consistency of them there's maybe like five or six beats that I thought were like really well put together and every other beat it's either super generic and something that you've heard over and over again from Absol or if they're more on the experimental side the fact that they sound different is what makes them sound good but like most of the beats don't compare to like a lot of the high level beats that I've been hearing so far this year it's a little bit of that I think if I heard this album first like say Absol dropped this album at the beginning of the year I, I listened to this album and I listened to like the rest of the albums that were released this year afterwards then then I'd probably enjoy the album a little bit more because then I'm not comparing them to like what we've been hearing so far this year the production could have been a little bit better on this one you get a lot of pass the mic style type of beats on this one mostly for multiple rappers to rap on rather than just Absol rapping on the whole thing because of that it makes the album a little more on the boring side because you're sort of getting what you expect to get instead of being surprised by what Absol has for the album so 
that's another thing. A lot of songs are a little more on the emotional side. It's more on the poetic side where he's trying to like give gems and advice through his metaphors and his similes, the way he writes through his beats, which is probably more of a highlight of the album, if, if anything, because he's treating it more like an album rather than some cheap mixtape where he's just like going off on every beat. And there's uh, a few songs like that where he's going off. He has like a beat running for like four minutes and he's just like rapping on it for four minutes. But most of the album is more on the poetic, emotional side. Um, and Absol, that's the type of rapper he is. He's closer to being more like Kendrick Lamar rather than Schoolboy Q. Instead of making like party anthems and club bangers, he's more of like a poet trying to like pass a message out through his music. Something that makes me like the album a little bit more. A lot more soul sounding beats through the production. Closer to the end of the album, I'd say the last five songs got a lot of like soul through the beats and it takes the soul out of Ab, which is a pretty crazy thing to say. Yeah, it takes the soul out of Ab, makes them rap in a way where it's like more on the emotional side and the contemporary side just like more of like the feel good type of vibe that you're getting from it rather than like a club banger or like a money grabber type of album you hear a lot of experimentation through the beats through the way the producer is sampling on this one another great part about the album he should have dipped into the experimental side a little bit more i just think he tried too much old ideas on this album in terms of like the songwriting and the producing just a lot of tracks stylistically you've heard before from other tracks he doesn't really try anything like new a lot of the tracks sound like songs that you'd expect from Absol instead of being surprised by like something different that he brings to the table so because of that I found the album a little more on the boring side rather than the side where you're getting an album that you've like never really heard before and it's just something fresh and new something different where you can't really Really compare it to other albums not only in Ab Soul's discography but other rappers discography and it's just like I've heard Ab Soul rap a little bit better than he did on this I just think like he's had better albums in the past he's rapped way harder on other tracks it would have been nice if he had maybe Kendrick and Schoolboy featured on some of the songs even J-Rock would have made the album a little bit stronger I think but the features that he does have on here are still like very strong artists and lyrics especially with a lot of the beats being a pass the mic type of beat a lot of the beats on here are constructed in that way so it's a little bit surprising in terms of a rating i'm giving this one a 7.8 out of 10 it, it's not in the eights just because i think it's um, a little more on the boring side and you can really hear the age of absol uh, if you get what i mean when i say that it does sound like an older rapper made this album a lot of like slow and boring ideas in terms of like the production even the way Absol's rapping I've heard Absol rap a lot better than he does on this album I just think the album was like okay for the most part i just think there's nothing too epic or surprising about the album it's what you expected out of absol i think the album is very professional sounding in terms of how it's mixed and how it's mastered and absol he's such a strong lyricist just like kendrick lamar you can hear it through the raps through the bars but definitely not his best i had to make it a 7.8 out of 10 better producers and features i think would have helped him on this one if he had the right people to gear him into making a little more futuristic music rather than trying the same old tactics that he would use like 10 years back or 15 years back 7.8 out of 10 man ab soul soul burger it's a pretty good name though i like the name of the album appreciate you guys watching today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it lots more music to drop in the future waldo dropping for december 4th check that song out once i drop it through my youtube soundcloud everywhere where i have my music you'll be able to find that song december 14th i got a another track dropping but i'll talk more about that one after i drop waldo for december 4th i'll talk more about the new album i'm working on set for summertime of next year planning more content and music to drop very soon so just stay tuned for all of that subscribe to the channel like the video until the next episode i'm out of here man